Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. It is really great to see you back in my channel and I hope that you're doing well. In today's episode, I would like to share with you, as I previously mentioned in the previous episode, how I'm integrating uh, Microsoft Teams with Salesforce. And uh, you can do a lot with Teams as well as you can do as well other way around from Salesforce to Teams. But in this episode, I will show you how to create an automation flow on Teams and uh, how with a message or a specific keyword, you can generate a case in Salesforce. If you find this useful, then please implement this as well in your projects. I'm going to start as always with my Salesforce playground. And right now I'm in setup and in setup, I'm going to create email to case. Email to case, I don't think I will have any right, right here in this, uh, in this org. So I will have to go and create a completely new email to case. I'm going to create it right here. And I'm going to use a routing name and email or a routing name to start with. And the important information will be email address. I have also opened, you can see my tabs. I have Teams and uh, in my previous uh, video, I created a personal account and there is one thing was missing teams this section was missing so right now i have created the trial business account and i can see that this team section is right here and with this team section you create you can create multiple teams and multiple channels and uh, for this video i want to show you how you can by writing a new new con starting a new conversation in the in the box with specific keywords, you can send this information to Salesforce and generate a case from, from this message. Now I'll go back and I'm going to use this general channel as an example. And here in these three dots, you can click these three dots and you will see that each channel has its own email address for the general Salesforce Atlas channel or team. And I'm going to copy this bit go back to Salesforce and paste this in the email address. So we'll be creating an email routing address for Teams channel. And I'm going to remove this bit and remove that bracket. Now we will have the email address and I'm going to give it a name as well. Let's say, all right, Salesforce Teams. And then you check task settings. We don't want to create any tasks, but I will want to create cases and I will check. Let's say, do I have any cues here? I will have a look. All right, product support tier one, that will work. And case priority, let's say hi and case origin. We can say it was email and case record type, let's say product support. That's what I have in this org. And the next step before verifying your new email address that you have created in email to case routing, go back to your Microsoft Teams. And uh, here again, in these three dots, when you are getting your email address, uh, click these advanced settings and make sure Right now, by default, it is usually only members of this team can, um, can email to this channel. So make sure that anyone can send emails to this address. That means that Salesforce can send you verification email and then you can verify this new email address. Click Save, then head back to your Salesforce setup, select Verify. And shortly, we will be receiving a verification request on Teams. Now I'll select continue, and I'm going to close this tab. And I can see that, yes, we have received this Salesforce request. And uh, yes, it is saying that it is asking me to verify this new, new email address. So I'm going to select uh, verify, click continue, and then that should be done. Now, if I refresh this page, verify should change to verified. All right, you can see uh, it has been verified. 
Now I can go back to my Teams desktop version and go to this general channel. I am already in it. And now there is uh, another thing that I can do. Select this plus button and look for automation tools. And I'm going to use for this demo video, I'm going to use Power Automate. It is um, Microsoft native and I have used it before. I'm going to skip this video and just select add. And shortly we'll be seeing in one of these tabs here. And I'm going to untick this checkbox. I don't really want to post anything about this tab and it should be ready. Now I'm gonna click save and let's see. Yes, it has appeared at the, at the very top right. It has loaded and now I just have to quickly select my country and region and remove any promotional emails and get started. And now there's the interesting part. You can create various flows similar to what we have in Salesforce with Salesforce process builders and flow in general. It is the same as well. What I realized is the same in, on Teams. You can create various flows. You can here use this plus button, new flow. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I will select this new flow button and create new automation to, for creating cases in Salesforce. All right, it has loaded and um, I am creating a new flow. Now, what I want to do is select Microsoft Teams. It is right here. So first you select, you select triggers and then you select actions. It's very similar to Salesforce as well. So if you know how to use automation tools in Salesforce, this should be, it's, it should be very easy for you to pick up uh, automation on Teams. Now you can select all these triggers and I want to select a trigger that when you are writing anything in this specific channel, uh, when you're creating a new message in this specific channel in, in the general, then I would like to trigger later our action. And that would be uh, the trigger. I will check when the, when the new channel message is added. And that's, that's the right one. We are selecting a team and that's our Salesforce Atlas. I only have one here, so it will be very easy to find. It's Salesforce Atlas and the channel, only one as well, that will be general. So I'm selecting general. So when a new channel message is added in Salesforce Atlas and in general channel, then I want to trigger this flow. I'm going to select next step and now choose an operation. And my operation, I would like to set set up a condition so when exactly i would like to when exactly should the teams trigger this notification now the condition should be again you have um, as i have selected everything starts with a message and i have all these properties all these options and i'm going to specifically select when message body content so you can check and you can select what would be most suitable for you. And uh, for me, that would be what's exactly in this message box, what keywords or what words we have in the message box. And if in the message box, it is the, the text equals to, let's say Salesforce, then the action should be Yes, I want to send a, a message and it wouldn't be email, but that would be Office 365 Outlook. Now, what we want to do is we want to send an email. And you can see here, send an email. So when the message body contains word Salesforce, uh, I want the condition, the correct condition, true, to forward this email to my email to case routing address. Uh, important thing is before setting up email to case, if you're doing it for the very first time, make sure that email to case is enabled. 
I'm going to check this box and I can also enable HTML emails. Those are most emails that are coming, let's say from Outlook or Gmail. And do I want to notification owners on new emails? I can, and we can check as well, maybe attachments or Salesforce files. Even though this demo account is not really used that much and I'm not sure if I'll be sending any email attachments, but it is usually it is very useful as well for you to receive email attachments when you're using email to case, but it really depends on your situation. And do I want to enable anything else? Sure, I will enable this and just click save. Now I have created this email to case. I will open it again. Or it's a, it's a demo account that I'm not usually using. And uh, I had to also do the very basics as uh, enabling email to case in this environment. So this is the email address I want to use in my Teams actions. So copy paste it, copy, go back to Teams and paste it into two section. And now just should be fine to paste it. I'll double check. Yes, that should be it. Yeah, that should be right. And the I can also select the subject. Teams request. And the body, uh, I would like to add again something from the message. And that's going to be my message body content. Again, I'm going to select this one. And you can go ahead and you can check all these actions if you want to pull any other information. But I'm going to select message body content. So again, that's only the content, the text that is in Teams messages. Now, without any extras, without any um, titles, as you can create titles as well in Teams messages. So that will be my message body. And uh, this should only trigger if the message body content contains or is equal to Salesforce or contains Salesforce. And if I haven't got anything related to Salesforce, then uh, the action would be false and nothing would happen. It would be just a simple message communication on Teams and the message wouldn't be synced with Salesforce. Now, I guess, yes, I'm happy with this mini flow. I'm going to save it and I'll double check if everything is good. You have here a flow checker, so you can also save your flow at the top. You can undo your uh, steps and you can also test it. I'm going to select this flow checker and I haven't got any errors or warnings. And I can also test it, but basically testing it, if you select to test it, you have to create a new message and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to skip this part. And the testing is like debugging in Salesforce. Now I'm gonna go back to my posts and uh, I will create a new conversation and I will write, create a case in Salesforce and select, just click enter. And it should take a little bit of time. It is not very quick, but I know that um, it should very shortly create a case in Salesforce. So meanwhile, I'm gonna go into Salesforce and open cases. Mm -hmm. Now I keep refreshing the page and I can see that uh, I have no new cases and it could be an indicator that there is something stopping between Outlook and Salesforce because I sent an email and the case was generated and I can show this as well. I have here on the side one of my mailboxes and I'm going to just generate a new message and I'm going to send this to this, this service address. And that's a very good way to test whether this provided email address is even active and it is working. And I will, if I go back to all open cases and refresh the page, then you can see that it has created a new case, but it hasn't linked to any contact name. And uh, I don't really have any fields populated here. I simply 
created the, a new email and sent this to the email address. And uh, one thing as well, now between Microsoft Teams and uh, Salesforce, there's going to be as well internet server. And uh, what I can see from my from my mail that the email wasn't delivered. And uh, that's something for IT guys would be to fix for your company. I know that in my company, we have set up validators and it works. So that would instantly create a case. And I actually had to take a day and test it myself. You can see all this was yesterday. And uh, yeah, so I kept testing, but it didn't really work out. And that's just because of some missing missing bits that I have here, you can see that it has failed. So the connection between Teams, Outlook, and Salesforce, it just didn't work out. However, once this issue is fixed and uh, you have set up validators, then uh, you will start creating cases just by posting in your Teams chat. And uh, I have used it before, so I know how it works, but I'm not an IT expert, so uh, there's there are some limitations. I can't really set up these validators. However, about the Power Automate, I just think it's a really great tool if you want to automate some processes and uh, even from a simple channel, from a simple chat, create cases. Cool. So this happens as well. That's why we also need other IT specialists uh, who specialize in connecting uh, email servers with Salesforce. But this video is not about that. But have a look and check Power Automate tools on Teams. It's a really great tool and set up some new flows. You can see that there are various other things that you can do. You can not only send emails, but update other channels or um, set up mentions and other things that I haven't even covered in, covered in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you will take something useful out of it and apply it as well in your organization. And uh, I'll see you next time again. Bye-bye.